Hey, what's going on guys? This is Strider here, and today I have a news update for you guys. Woo! So, <clears throat> this is going to be about Gears of War, of course. I mean, what else would it be about? A lot of other games. Um, so, the video I just uploaded yesterday, uh, the Ultimate Edition information and my expectations and stuff like that, yada, yada, yada. Perfect timing, too, it seems like. I kind of wish I would have waited a little longer. So I could have made that part of my video, but uh, this is just going to be an, an update about it. And uh, yeah, so if you, anyone hasn't heard, gameplay has been leaked from the Ultimate Edition. And it looks fantastic, in my opinion. It looks really good. It, uh, it pretty much, like, uh, I'll give a little bit of details on it and I'll provide links in the description below. So you guys can check it out. Um, I'm not going to show it on here because I don't want to. I don't want to risk copyright strike or my video taken getting taken down. So um, sorry, uh, forgive me. But uh, I will provide it in the description below so you can see it yourself. Uh, I don't want to just explain to you guys and not you guys not be able to see because that's just not fair. So basically, it uh, it play by the looks of it. It plays just like Years of War One. Just like the original. I mean, the running animation is exactly the same. The reload animation, the way the characters move, it, it, it's Gears of War 1. I mean, uh, the textures were so much better. So good. So good. So good. Um, they, they, I mean, it, it looked, it looked next gen. I mean, it looked like a really, it looked like a really well done polish. Of, of the game. Kind of just like how Halo 2 Anniversary was to Halo 2. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. It's the same game, same gameplay, same feel, same mechanics, except uh, the graphics are better. A lot better. And uh, frame rate and resolution, too. Um, we don't know a concrete resolution or frame rate. It, the, the demo that was shown was apparently shown, at, well, was apparently played, and it was uh, 60 frames per second when it was played. Uh, resolution didn't really say so. Um, so it's 60 frames, so that's nice. Uh, and it was on canals, yeah. It was on canals. Uh, the gameplay video was. There's two of them that I saw. Three of them actually. One was an off-screen uh, demo, and the other two were leaked from Xbox DVR. Uh, and the ones that are the best quality are obviously the ones from DVR, so um, those are the ones I'm mostly talking about. The ones that are on DVR, and actually the off-screen one was on canals, so that must mean that the um, the build that these people were playing were early builds that only had that map on it. Otherwise, I mean, it's kind of, I mean, unless there was more and they all just decided to go on canals, but, I mean, it's very well possible, but uh, I'm just going to go with canals as the only available map. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, graphics are better, gameplay looked the same. Some people are speculating that, um, there's no active buff on the forums. I had a forum post, and, uh, there's a lot of discussion going on it right now, which, thank you guys. I mean, that's flattering to have all that attention on my uh, forum post. Uh, and on Reddit, too. Thanks, Reddit. Um, well, Gears of War subreddit. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of debate going on right now for a couple things, and I'll explain them here in a little bit. One of them was no active buffs, because when in one of the clips when one of the guys reloaded, he reloaded, and he didn't get the active the first time, but he got the active the second time. And two things were, two, two things, oh, my fingers were showing up, two fatty fingers. <laughs> uh, two things showed up that were, that were weird. There was no active reload sound, which, again, uh, well, not again, but uh, I'll, I'm going to say it, actually, I'll say what I was going to say at the end. There's no active reload sound, and there was no blinking bullets. You don't know what I'm talking about, the bullets that are, like, on the top right of your screen, under your gun, you know, when you re active reload, they, like, shine, they, like, turn black and white. That didn't show up. So people are a little skeptical, and they're thinking that act active damage the damage boost you get when you successfully pull off an active reload is gone. Could be 
very well be the case, but don't don't jump to conclusions just yet. Uh, it could be that it's an early build, so maybe they just haven't they didn't have the time to code it yet. They probably didn't code the sound or the blinking bullet animation. Probably just didn't code it yet. That's definitely a possibility. Or maybe not. Maybe they did get rid of actives. Who knows? Doesn't matter to me either way. Honestly, don't really care. I mean, it just makes it more even. So you don't have to worry if someone has actives or not. Everyone will not have actives. So it'll make it a little more fair, I guess. And another huge controversial one right now is whether or not the bullets come out of the gun's barrel or go straight to the middle of the screen like in the actual original Gears of War 1. Because in the original, the bullets can come wherever the barrel was pointing like they do with 2 and 3 in Judgment. They, they, it comes out right center all the time with every gun. It's right in the center. So, there's a huge debate about it right now. And by the looks of the clip, a lot of people are saying that it's coming out of the barrel. I know a lot of Gears 1 enthusiasts be pretty pissed off about that. You know, because they were like, you know, want Gears War 1, and then that's not in Gears of War 1. <laughs> so, the Gears War 1 enthusiasts who are looking forward to a uh, graphic, just Gears of War 1 graphic up with dedicated servers and whatever, there's some mechanics that might have been changed. Might have, might have. might have been changed. We don't know for sure yet. So, until we get any official trailer, gameplay, news, whatever, anything can happen at this point. All we know is the the gameplay clips and and um, uh, screenshots are probably, I would say, about 90% legit, especially considering now that Microsoft is taking action against the people who actually leaked this stuff by banning their accounts permanently and breaking their Xboxes temporarily and possible legal action too so and also Microsoft's point down videos too so I mean it's pretty much confirmed that this is real and the leaks are real and the game exists and it's coming out whenever that may be hopefully the end of this year so um, but yeah that's pretty much it guys I mean that's everything about it I'll link the stuff the sources in the description below uh, the the videos and stuff so you can see them yourself. Again, I'm not going to show them on here because I don't want to risk getting a copyright strike or getting my video taken down. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, maybe subscribe. It would help me out greatly. I greatly appreciate the support.